Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so we'll continue on with where we left off. The last time we had installed Soul, so if you look at Mod Organizer, Soul is our last one that we had put in. So we're moving on to expanded cities, towns, and villages, and there's just a couple of mods here. Um, we're going to do Books of Skyrim, which is just a, um, a store in Solitude to buy books. I don't know that I would ever necessarily use this, but um, it might be good if we were missing one particular book and can't find it. So anyway, we'll go find it. Version 1.1 is what we're after. Let's go ahead over there. Here it is. Let's go to the files. Version 1.1. Very simple. One, one file. All right, it's already ready. So let's go ahead and install. We'll do a manual installation, and it's like I think it said do not install uh, the README text, which is fine. Everything else is good, so let's go ahead and install. And we'll turn that on. Now that's likely to have a plugin, I'm sure, yeah. Okay, well there you go, very simple. All right, farmhouse chimneys. So this adds farm chimneys to farmhouses that have fireplaces. So, I mean, you know, smoke effects, snow shaders, etc. So yeah, let's go check it out. So we'll go to files, we're after version 2.5, so it looks like this one. All right, that's coming pretty fast. So let's go ahead and fire that up and then we'll start expand our instructions. Looks like they're pretty simple. So we're gonna do thinner meshes we're going to do vanilla core. We're going to do, come on, come on, Falk Sar plus Worm's Tooth. We're going to do no new villages. And then for Arthur's individual villages, we're going to do none. No, that's not true. We're going to do live another life plus cutting room floor. This one right here. And then none of these. Okay, there you go. That's what we want. So no other special instructions. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And again, we have multiple ESPs on this one. That looks good. Okay. And there you go. We're done with that section. So we're going to go into Creatures of Skyrim. First of all, the vanilla creatures retextures and tweaks, starting with this dragon replacer pack. So, high quality retexture of the Skyrim dragons. And we do have a readme text we're not going to install, but let's go get version 1.3. Let's go ahead and turn this off. So, well, there you go. There's only really just the one file, so that's what we want. So, we'll let that come in. All right, there you go, guys. The uh, dragon replacer is in. Let's go ahead and manually install that and turn off the readme text like it asked, but everything else stays. Hit OK. We'll let that install. There you go. And we'll turn that on. Now, that might not have, yeah, that doesn't have an ESP. It's just a, a texture replacer. Yeah, it might replace the meshes, too. I guess it did, actually, because uh, I. We, we saw that uh, directory, uh, but that doesn't require an ESP, so we're all good there. Okay, continuing on. So far, these are all pretty fast. High-res Darkwing texture, so we're going to fix the dragonflies in Skyrim. It's a better version. Now, I can't imagine this is going to be very big, but we'll check it out. Looks like just the one file, version 1.02, which is what we're asking for. And there you go, it's all ready for us. Let's go ahead and pull that in. Is that this is the no, was that this is the data directory? There we go. And what did he say? There's no special instructions here, so we'll just go ahead and hit OK. And there you go. We got new dragonflies. Or dart wings, if you prefer. In the parlance of the game. Lepidoptera, which is um uh, insects. It's uh, moths and butterflies. Let's see. Butterflies and moths. Oh, there you go. See? See, I was right. 
I have a biology degree for a reason. So we have new high-res textures for moths and butterflies. And I keep seeing reports that the wings are on backwards on some of these butterflies, so I guess that fixes that. Anyway, let's go check it out. So files. Let's see. I've got a few different things here. We're looking for 2.0b for complete alchemy and cooking overhaul. Okay. So that's the one we're after right there. So we'll drop into this one. It's already ready for us. Go to a manual. I presume this is the data file. And there were no special instructions that I remember. Nope. Go ahead and install. And we'll turn that on. So again, there's no ESP with that. Um, what's here? 2.0 bit news version 2.0. Okay, we'll just go ahead and ignore that. Okay, moving on to the next thing. This is all very fast. I like it. Pondfish and salmon replacer. Now, hopefully, you guys remember an episode or two back, we had some some issues with the textures on the the pondfish and salmon. Hopefully, this is going to fix that. I, I'm very much hoping. <laughs> Because if it doesn't, I don't know what to do about it. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. Version 1.2. There we go. There's only just the one version, so go ahead and grab it. And that's coming in nice and fast. So again, we'll set this as the data directory. I'm sure that's right. Now, we had some special instructions, so let's go take a look at what those are. Let's turn that off. Do not install meshes, critters, fish, pond fish. Okay, meshes, critters, fish, pond fish. Let's go there. So meshes, critters, fish, pond fish. And he wants us not to install the pond fish star. Well, that's basically almost everything. Okay, and then under um, the entire salmon folder, because we've already got these fixes apparently. So, all right, just turn this off. So really, the only thing we're ch changing is black reach catfish. And then textures, we get all the textures, um, which is good because we need textures. That's, that's all we were missing before. So let's go ahead and install that. And we'll turn that on. And again, there shouldn't be a plugin for that. Very nice. Okay, guys, and there you go. We're done with that vanilla creatures retextures. So animal companions and mounts. All right, so here we go. Con convenient horses. So this is an overhaul for horses, horse armor, follower horses, and, and other things. This makes horses behave more like they would in uh, like Red Dead Redemption, where your horse kind of, you know, stays around you and, and, and whatnot, and you call them and all that kind of stuff. So let's go find it. It's version 5.0 we're after. So let's go there. Sure. There we go. Version 5.0, convenient horses. There's nothing special about this. We've got README we don't want to install, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Uh, this might be kind of big. Let's see here. Yeah. It's not super huge, but... Okay, we'll let that come in. Okay. There you go. We'll do a manual installation. We'll turn off the readme text like it asked, and everything else is fine. Go ahead and install. Okay. Now this one I think is probably going to have an ESP. It does. Okay, it's all good. All right, moving on to the next item in our list. The Elder Scrolls V rewritten. Arvac, Arvac. Plastic skeletal horses look real. Um, sure, sure. Okay, so this is for the undead horses, I guess. Uh, version 1.1.1 .1 is what we're after. So let's go ahead there. So version 1.1.1, .1, that's the one we want. Oh, 
Okay, guys, let's come in. So let's go ahead and extract. I think we have a full mod. Yep, there you go. So let's pop open our instructions. Looks pretty simple. Main file, uh, extreme definition, and soul. These are some kind of cool little deals, but anyway, we're doing that one. All right, go ahead and install. And then we'll turn that on. That may not, yeah, that does have an ESP. All right, fair enough. I'm up to 109 now, more or less, you know, minus the few miscellaneous things that we're not putting in. So remember, we can go up to 255. Let's make a noise. Stop it. Quit making noise, you damn thing. We can go up to 255 on this, so continuing on. Anyway, let's see here. Maybe we can get through the rest of the creatures. Dawn Guard rewritten, Arvark. Convenient Alsvid patch. So again, I guess we're <laughs> we're doing something to the, the skeletal horses. So version 1.0 is what we're after. Go here. There's just the one file. Um, are we doing any optionals here? No optionals, okay. All right, go ahead and download. It's ready for us. Let's go ahead and install it. Manual installation. Um, there was no optional or uh, instructions. So, go ahead and install. And we'll turn that on. And there you go. All right, moving right along. So a couple more. We'll do these, these new creatures and encounters. Deadly dragons. Make dragons the feared and powerful creatures that could supposedly are. So really, this makes the dragon fights much harder. Which, you know, sure. <laughs> In my opinion, yeah, sure. I'm a little bit hesitant to do this kind of thing, but... 6.4.1b... Yes, please. All right, we'll let that come in. I think that's a bit long. All right, guys, there you go. So we've got an external installer here. Interesting. All right. Let's see what the, what the instructions are. It's not really a faux mod, but uh, Deadly Dragon's normal. That seems good. <laughs> All right. Sure. Not entirely sure why we needed a, an, an external installer for that, but whatever. That's cool. All right. Looks good, guys. So, continuing on, we'll do one more. Immersive Creatures. So this adds dozens of new creatures um, to enhance the game. Creatures, monsters, and enemies fit the original of all start. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So just more livestock, basically. Uh, more, more creature types. So let's pull that in. Let's go grab it. For files, and we are after version 652b 652b that's the one right there okay so we'll wait for that to come in okay guys so it's come in let's go ahead and fire it up it's probably going to take a minute to extract Okay, game. Okay. There you go. We've got ourselves a faux mod, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. I've already pulled it open. So we got the README. That's fine. Next. So we're going to do main plus DLC 2. Compatibility patches none. And fine. Go ahead and install. So we'll let this install, gang. Okay, there you go, guys. 
All right, let's see how many uh, ESPs that turns on. Probably more than one, I would imagine. Well, only a couple. It's funny, we were doing so fast, we are doing so well and going so fast until we hit this one mod, and it's taking forever to install this one. But it's a big mod, that's why. Okay, gang, I think I'm going to stop here as far as installing mods goes. Um, what I want to do right now is I think we just installed Immersive Creatures, which I think we had some uh, dependencies on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this by flags. Actually, I'm going to sort it by priority. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, nope, never mind. I'm going to sort it by mod index. That's what I want. There you go. And what that's going to do is it's going to put all the mods we haven't turned on right up top. And I'm going to... I mean, I guess we could turn on the high res, whatever. Just turn them all on. Then I'm going to sort by flags. And what that's going to do is show us all the mods that still have errors. We can turn off the high res texture packs. We don't want those on. But they're going to disappear when I when I do this because it's resorting them back up into the thing. That's the only reason why. Um, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five mods left that still have errors. But we had six, so there was one of them that actually did get taken care of. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was one of the one of the ones that required the uh, the immersive creatures patch. Um, I don't know where it is, but okay, whatever. Um, all right, so there you go. I, th I think we did take care of one of them. We still have some missing ships, uh, children. Come on. Uh, wearable lanterns. And AOS. Did we not install wearable lanterns already? Chels? Okay, whatever. All right, so we'll just go ahead and turn these back off. Okay, then we'll resort by priority, just to keep everything back to the, the way it's supposed to, or, you know, the way the game loads it. So there you go, we've got everything turned on that we can't have turned on. Okay, so let's go ahead and run loot. And get everything organized the way it's supposed to be uh, organized, according to our master list. There we go. Alrighty then. So we got stuff down in here. All the new stuff. Got another ITM record. But okay. We will resist the urge to clean it up because I'm told that's a bad idea unless we're told to do it. So we'll ignore it, even though it makes my OCD go off. All right, so we'll go ahead and apply that. And that should uh, yeah, put all this stuff down here. All right, looks good to me. And close that. So this will now change. There you go, it has. All right, let's go run into the game. Now, the only thing we're really going to be able to check out, um, this is in Solstein. We're not going to be able to see that. Um, we're not going to be anywhere near any farmhouses, I don't think. Uh, we won't see any dragons. We might see some dragonflies, although I don't know if we'll be able to tell um, butterflies and moths. We'll look at the, the fish. That uh, we can see. The rest of this stuff, no. Not unless we happen to see some creatures. But, eh, let's go check it out. Let's just make sure the game works. SKSE. Okay, guys, we got lots of messages coming up at the top. <laughs> um, okay, there you go. <laughs> Cleared this all out. All right, um, let's go see if we can find any. Creatures we've got, in particularly interested in the fish, if we can go find any. Make sure they're all working right. I see fish! It's a salmon. It's a salmon. Um, I mean, you know, 
Uh, we did see some malfunctioning fish before. Uh, I see some more fish. So, I mean, you know, everybody. A perch? That was one of them that was, wasn't working. There you go, it's working now. Um, so that's good. Let's see, there's a dragonfly. I see a dragonfly. I mean, can you tell? I don't know. <laughs> it goes by too fast to really see, doesn't it? Um, it looks like the fish are working again. That's that's good. I think it was the perch that we were, that were messed up on that before. So, looks like we're good there. Um, everything seems fine. We're getting okay frame rates in the 40s. Uh, mountain in the background in the high 30s. And then, you know, it could be higher. I wish it was up around 60. It really does irritate me that with the hardware that I have that I'm doing such low for me. It really shouldn't be doing that, and I'm not really, not really sure why. I've, I've messed around with it, but, um, you know, as long as it stays above 30, it's it's fine. Uh, once you start getting into the 20s, that's when you're going to really start having problems, but that's all right. Which, I'm now in the 20s. <laughs> Although it's pretty smooth. I don't really see any jerkiness to it. I wonder how accurate that frame rate counter is. But anyway, okay guys, um, let's bail out of here. And very good. All right guys, how are we doing in our overwrite folder? Still only the one thing? Still only one thing. That's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm astonished. Um, but we've installed 113 well, more than 113. That's the only ones with, with priority numbers, right? With DSPs. And there's only one thing in the overwrite folder. It's fascinating. Anyway, okay, guys. Um, we'll stop here, and we'll pick this back up in the next episode when we will continue on. We've finished all the creatures. We're going to go on to the people, which is uh, an interesting section. So that'll be fun. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.